Okay, right, today um, we are going over all the different resolutions, field of views and frame rates that you get with the GoPro Hero 5 Plus Black, no, Hero 5 Black, that's what it is. Um, this one is the latest one that's come out in 2016 and I'm going to show the effect of the frames a second through the medium of juggling. Uh, I have a wallet, I have a laser pointer and I have a totally broken phone. So these are rife for juggling. So at the moment we're shooting at 30 frames a second, 1080p, your average any camera can kind of do. And uh, if we do this, if we do some juggling here, this is what it looks like. We'll not do too much of that. Um, but the cool thing is with the GoPro Hero 5, it can do at 1080p 120 frames a second. However, doing it in its wide setting, the image quality is not as good. So I'll show you the difference. So first of all, go to 120 frames a second, wide. Okay, so here we are at 120 frames a second. What you may find is stuff like the, the hill there the resolution isn't quite as good as what it was before. The stuff like the the hill there, the resolution isn't quite as good as what it was before. The quality most definitely goes down when you're doing wide and anything above 60 frames a second. Um, but at the same time, we can do some juggling in slow motion. So 120 frames a second down to 30p video output means you can bring it down to like a quarter the speed. So here, let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Woo, six. Now, if you want to get the best image quality, you have to come out of wide. So let's do that now. And you've effectively only got two options. You've only got wide or narrow. So now we're in narrow. You should see the background looks awesomely nice and sharp and fantastic. And if we do some juggling, this is gonna be more difficult. So I need to be further away. Like here, do some juggling. There. Oh, it's a phone. So, that, damn it, that's at 1080p. Now, what we want to do is look at the other frames of set, uh, other uh, resolutions. So, we've got 2.7k. Let's go to that. 2.7K is uh, obviously a better resolution than 1080p uh, and you can do it a wide, medium, normal or a narrow, uh, linear, super view, you can do all the settings that you want. Also it can go up to 60 frames a second, so at the moment we're shooting at 30 frames a second, so again this is not really for slow-mo, but you might see it's nice, uh, the quality of the background if we zoom in looks quite good, um, it should be a little bit better than 1080p. Let's go to a faster frame, the fastest that we can do on 2.6. So again, at 2.7K resolution, we can shoot it at 60 frames a second. So that means you can slow the juggling down to half speed. Boom, like a boss. Um, but you've only got the option of super, of this wide, the you know normal wide or medium setting. So if we change this to medium, you can see it's, it's cropped in just a little bit. It's not a huge difference, but I think the image quality is still fantastic. So it, at medium 2.7K, I think what this is doing is pretty much using the whole of the actual sensor um, to get, get the image. And again, at 60 frames a second, uh, uh, try again. Okay, juggling's not my best thing. Now, 4K resolution is what we've got just now. 4K is effectively four 1080p videos. So if we have a video like there, that's one 1080, that's another 1080, there's another 1080, and that's another 1080. So it's, it's four times 1080p. 720p, it's nine times, so you have like, Imagine a line down here, a line down here, and blocks, like a crisscross, X's and O's game. Effectively, that's how much you get uh, of a 720p pushing into of a 4K video. Now, this can only do wide, because you're pretty much using the whole sensor. The, and, it can, and its maximum speed is 30 frames a second. So, slow motion, you're not really getting any slow motion. There is the option, so I'll show you. Duh, 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 duh. That's rubbish. Let's try again. 
There is an option in the GoPro software, GoPro Studio that you get where you can do like kind of slow motion additional stuff. So at 30 frames a second, I'm going to bring this down to 50 or 50% 50 speed using the special GoPro software. And let's see the quality that we get there, the difference between without the software and with the software. So again. Cool, okay, there you go. Now, that's all well and good. We've got huge resolutions, we've got um, nice frames a second, but we've also got super slow-mo, which you can only do in 720p. So let's move you down from 4K awesomeness, look at the background, it's so good, to 720p. Simple HD resolution, not full HD, 720 HD resolution. What you get normally pumped through your TV signal um, at home. So when you have like TV signals saying HD TV, unless it's a Blu-ray disc, it's actually just 720p. So this is what 720p looks like. So 720p, this is what it is. Um, and what we'll do, we'll scale this up. So it's fill, still, uh, still filling the 1080p video format that we're using just now. And what we'll do, so again, you'll see the kind of the background, the, the hill, resolution isn't that great but if you're looking at it on a mobile device you probably can't see the difference on this we're shoot, currently shooting at 30 frames a second but we can boost this up a little bit let's have a look at this the the hill the resolution isn't that great but if you're looking at it on a mobile device you probably can't see the 720p we can do 120 frames a second and we still have the full options of wide super wide medium narrow linear all that good stuff so 120 frames a second we have this ability to do slow mo but we can go one step further however there's a, a catch to it so we're going to go up to the next level which is 240 frames a second you may notice the catch. <laughs> the only option that you can do at 240 frames a second is narrow. And this is particularly narrow. So like I, you, you can't even get me in the image. And juggling is gonna be very difficult to show off in this. Oh, oh he's, uh, right. So if I try and do some juggling here. Da -da. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't really look that great. You have to be you have to be a long distance away. But let, let's see if I'm just going to throw my wallet at that person over there. There you go. Anyway, let's go back to wide. But there is one final option. And that is where you can do wide and you can do 240 frames a second. However, the resolution now is pants. This is WVGA, which is wide VGA, which is really pants. It's the smaller than 720p HD resolution. So it's not even HD. However, we can expand it up so it fills up the space and it's, that's all good. However, 240 frames a second wide juggling looks like this. Ah, oh, ready? Oh, oh yeah. So there you go. Uh, now we'll go back to um, 1080. Cool, back to 1080, 60 frames a second. 1080 at 60, I would say, is probably the easiest to edit 
the highest quality and you have the ability to do a little bit of slow-mo. So you can bring it 60 down to 30, so you've got 50% speed, or if you're doing it in a 25p or a 24p timeline, even slower, like 42% speed, which, which can be helpful uh, for certain shots. If you're wanting to go faster than that, I would recommend going down to 720p and shooting faster rather than 1080, because anytime you go above 1080, 60 frames a second, the image quality massively degrades. I'll show you that just now. So just now, we're at 60 frames a second, which I would say is absolutely fine. And let's see, we just, we just stare at this bit of the mountain just now. We're gonna go from 60 to the very first level of um, faster frames a second, which is only 80 frames a second. So there, that's, this is it at 80 frames a second. So you can't really say, oh, it's because there's less light, the ISO is higher, the frame rates, anything. No, it's definitely, there's just an image quality degradation that goes on within the GoPro um, as soon as you go above 60 frames a second in 1080p. So as you can see, it's definitely not as good as what it was at 60. And I'll show you again when we go up to the next level, which is 90. Is that it rolling? You didn't make any noise. Yeah, that's it. So that's at 90 frames a second going on there. Um, so again, only 10 frames a second difference from 80, and it really shouldn't make any difference, but compared to 60 frames a second, definite drop in quality. And then the last one, 120 frames a second again. So the final one, 120 frames a second. Again, we are in bright sunshine, perfect conditions for outdoor shooting, certainly at slow or uh, fast frames a second for slow motion speed. Um, but unfortunately, the, the quality of the background or the general resolution of the image at 1080p, as soon as you go above 60, just massively degrades in terms of its actual resolution. So that's something to be aware of. If you're, if you're going from 1080p 60 and you're doing up to 120, you will notice a quality difference if you're trying to edit frames together, um, which is obvious even at iPad level, maybe not obvious at mobile level, but if you're on iPad or a computer screen, it definitely becomes more and more obvious as soon as you go above 60 frames a second. My personal choice though will be a 2.7K 60 frames a second. That gives you, at least it gives you the, the option to be able to do a bit of cropping. Uh, so to crop this into a 1080, um, this is how much it comes in. <coughs> and at 60 frames a second, you can still have the opportunity to do a good bit of slow motion going on. Whoa, whoa. With great options of cropping and moving around in the image so it looks like you're all, you almost got a person moving the camera for you while you're you're there and it's still filling a full 1080p resolution video file so there you go that's the different resolutions and frame rates the pros and cons of each and uh, and oh what a lovely day it is in edinburgh this is edinburgh that is a uh, part of arthur's seat which is a big mountain in edinburgh that's known as the crags because they're just craggy rocks and a bit of a part of an old volcano from history um, and what what a day this is what this is what it's like every day in scotland if you've never been here so anyway i hope that video helped and if you've got any other questions about the frames a second and all that blah 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 put it in the comments down below cheers bye bye